Hello friends, welcome to Code Crash Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about Python interview questions related to list. So we know list is a data type in Python that is used to store multiple items in a single variable. So with the help of a variable, we can store a particular value. But with the help of a list data data type, we can store the multiple values in a single variable. So let's start with the first question. Before that, what we will do? We will learn the basic concepts about the list. So in the PyCharm editor, let's say we want to declare some values to a variable. So let's say we have one variable name called name, and then we assign the string value to this name. Let's say ABC. Now this is the name. Now another variable we have, let's say age. Now in this variable we will store the number value, which will have the age. Let's say twenty. Now these are the two variables storing the two different type of values. Let's say another value we add here. Let's say roll number. So this is the third variable which will store the third value. Let's say roll number is one. So these are three different variables storing the three different values for a one particular data. Let's say this is a student data which has the name, then age, then roll number. Now what we want? We want to store all these three values into a single variable. Then in that case we can make use of list because list are used to store the multiple items in a single variable now let's say we have the list so you can declare the name of list so let's declare name as student so this is the name of variable and the list are declared with the help of square bracket so inside the square brackets you need to pass the values so let's pass the first value which will be the name then abc then we will have the age 20 And then we will have the roll number value as one. Now instead of having the three variables, we are storing all these three values into a single variable, which is student and which is of type list. So how to check the type of any variable? We know the type function. So we can print here print then type, and inside this type you need to pass the name of variable. So here we will pass the name of variable as student. Once we pass it, then we can check the type. Let's run this code. You run this code, then see you will able to see as class list. So this particular variable is of type list because we have passed the values inside the square brackets. So in this way, you need to declare the list. Now, what are the different properties of list? So mainly there are three properties of list that you need to remember. First one is ordered. means values in the list are ordered they are stored in the form of index so first element or the first value is stored at zero position then the first value is stored at first position then second value is stored at second position so in this way these values are stored in list so how we can check this with the help of let's say you want to check the student of zero so this index zero will provide you the first value which is abc let's run this code so see we are getting only abc because at zeroth position abc is stored now if i print another values let's say student of 1 and then student of 2 let's run this code so see first print statement which is student of zeroth index position we are getting abc then at first position we have the second value which is 20 and at the second position we have the third value which is 1 so they are ordered second property of the list is they are changeable means once you declared a list it can be changed meaning that we can change add and remove items in a list after it has been created now let's say you have created a list here student with values a b c 20 and 1 and after that you want to change the roll number so what how you can access the roll number which is at the second index position so what you can do you can simply say student of 2 this you want to change it to roll number 2 earlier the roll number was 1 right now we are changing it to 2 and now here we are printing the value let's see what change we are getting here so see now the roll number is updated here we are getting 
because once you have declared a list you are changing that value to 2 so it means that once you created a list it can be changed and the third important property of the list is that it allows duplicate as the list are indexed means the values are stored according to the index position so list can have atoms with the same value means you can have the duplicates in the list let's say here you have a 20 value again if you enter your 20 value and name as abc again so now this particular list is having five values abc abc 20 20 and 1 so in this two values are duplicated like abc is repeated twice and 20 is repeated twice so if i remove this part and instead of printing a single value let's print the entire list so print student so let's see whether we are able to get all these data so see we are able to get all the values that we are declaring here so it means that duplication is allowed and also all the elements are in order so in the same way in which we have declared in the same way we are able to get these values so they are ordered now these are the basic concepts about the list now let's move towards the first question so what is the output of this particular list so in this list we have different values first one is of string type second is of number type and third one like string and numbers combination this particular list is having so what will be the output of this list of zero so as we have seen the items in the list are stored according to the index position so what will be the value at list of zero so it will print first element of the list so what is the first element of the list which is abc so you will get the value abc let me show you in the demo let me copy paste this list here let's change this list so let's say name of variable is list only you can provide any name and here what we want to print we want to print list of zero run this code see we are getting abc because list of zero will have the first value now let's move towards the second question so what is the output of print list one colon b if list is this particular list so we have the same list here with the values abc 123 1.23 john and 90.2 now this is the concept of slicing so we have already covered the concept of slicing in the string videos now what we will see the slicing concept in the list so it works in a similar fashion now what we were doing we were just providing a single value here and we were trying to access that particular element now what we will do if we provide two values let's say here you provide the value at zero and then provide colon so it is the start position so list will start from the zeroth position and here you need to provide the end value let's say i provide here three now let's see the output first then we will see how it works so see now we are getting here three values so starting from zero index position you will get abc then the first position one two three and then the second position 1.23 now we have also provided here th three index position right so we should also get the john because it is stored at index position three but we are getting values only till index position two because this particular value is excluded means if you provide here three then the values will be printed till second index position if you provide here four then the values will be printed till third index position let's run this code this time john will also be printed see we are able to get the john value as well because this value is excluded in starting from zeroth position and till third position this particular list will print the values what will be the output in this case it says it will start from the first till third so it will start from first so first index position will be 1 2 3 so it will start from 1 2 3 and it will print till as you provided here 3 it will print till second index position so it will print only two values right 1 2 3 and 1.23 run this code see we are able to get two values here so this question we already covered now moving towards the next question what is the output of print 
list multiply by 2 if list is this if list is having two values 1 2 3 and john and if you try to print list multiply by 2 then what will be the output let's check that let's say i declare another list let's say list 1 and we have two values here 1 2 3 and john and now what we want to print we want to print this list 1 list 1 into 2 as we are not getting any error means it will generate some output let's check what output this particular statement will provide so see what it has done this particular list one it printed two times means the values are included in the list twice we have provided only two values right one two three and john so we are getting here one two three and john but here in the print statement we have multiplied it by two so that particular list is repeated twice so one two three john is repeated again here one two three john if i say here multiply by three then this particular list will repeat itself three times let's check that so see this is the original content of the list one one two three and john then it has repeated one more time and then the third time so in this way this particular expression works it will print the list two times as we have multiplied here with two now moving towards the next question so what is the output of print if you have two list so this particular list one we are having here and this one list two and if you try to print list one plus list two then what will be the output so it will print concatenated list what is the meaning of concatenation it will add the content of two list now let's check in the demo that we have these two list list and list one and if you try to print list plus list one run it so see we are getting here the output of list so this is the output of or the content of the list till 90.2 so this particular content we are getting and then we are adding list one so also we are getting the content of list one one two three john so here the order matters so first we have said list and then list one so first we are getting the content of list and then we are getting the content of list one if you replace the order here or change the order with list one plus list then first the content of list one will be printed and then the content of list will be printed see first we are getting here now one two three john and then the content of list this particular list so remember that the order matter here while adding the two list 